Kanye West intensifies Jay-Z feud by moving to set up rival streaming service to title. His relations with old friend Jay-Z seem to be at an all-time low. But they could be set to sink even further as it has emerged Kanye West has moved to set up a rival streaming service to title. The 40-year-old gold digger star has submitted a trademark application for a similar enterprise which would be dubbed Yeezy Sound, first reported by The Blast. The application states the trademark would be for the purposes of streaming of music, audio, images, video and other multimedia content over the internet. At the moment it is unclear whether it would be a Prince Star solo venture purely to market the Mr. Kim Kardashian's own music, or whether he would be looking to gather his own stable of talent. The handsome rapper's move comes after he claimed he is already whopping $3.5 million from Jay-Z's title for unpaid advances and bonuses for his Life of Pablo album. A self-styled fashion designer's anger boiled over, he lashed out at both his old collaborator and his wife Beyonce on stage last year, at one point saying, even at the risk of my own success, my own career, I've been sitting here to give you all the truth. Jay-Z, call me, bruh. You still ain't calling me. Jay-Z, call me. Jay-Z, I know you got killers. Please don't send them at my head. Just call me. Talk to me like a man. In time-honored hip-hop style, Jay-Z then dissed his former lackey by calling him a backstabber on his 4 hours 44 minutes album. Kanai was actually one of the stars who turned out for the grand launch of Tidal back in March 2015. Later that year Jay-Z defended his fledgling a stream of tweets after it was described as a flop following its high-profile rollout. The former drug dealer hit out amid claims it was being sabotaged by rivals as it attempts to take business away from more established music outlets such as Spotify and Apple. The conspiracy theorist said, We may not be perfect, but we are determined, while claiming that there are many big companies that are spending millions on a smear campaign 